The flip? I'll try to flip it. Go on. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be on my face. Mm, that's good. Ah, it's really nice in the morning. We're back today, the car's getting looked at. Alright, in we go. some chives for scramble egg. I like to have a to put some chives on scramble egg. I got some chives here. Smells so nice. This is the chives. I get here. I get so many chives. Philippines, it's always nice to start your day outside, just come outside, get some fresh air, listen to the birds, the crickets, or whatever that noise is. I think it's grasshoppers, not crickets. Nice and peaceful and quiet here in the province. That's why we love living in the province. You get a bit of noise in the background, there's some building going on, you get the bikes going past every now and then. Dogs barking, chickens, all the usual sounds from the Philippines, but you get used to it, you adapt, you adjust. They don't bother you. In the beginning, you might be a bit off-put by the odd chicken here and there, the odd rooster crowing, the odd dog barking, but it's life in the Philippines. You embrace it, you enjoy it. It doesn't get you down. When you're away from the province, you actually miss these sounds. You miss the roosters, the dogs, the crickets, the birds, especially the birds. In England, we had trees by our house until they cut them down to develop more houses behind. And the biggest thing I missed was the bird sound in the morning. The bird call, the bird songs. Something about the birds. They welcome you, they wake you. The roosters wake you, I should say, but the birds, they greet you with a chorus. It's very really nice. And I like the little hum, the hum of the grasshoppers or the crickets here. Especially at night when they come out. really miss it when you're away from it living in the province you ah feels like home because it is home we're back today the car's getting looked at and we're gonna get a trike aren't we back to the city so we're gonna go find a trike wow it's a very sunny day today a very bright day all right in we go From Manila? Yes. Uh, so the car's in the garage, be fixed. Seems like the air conditioning, fan, belt, motor, or something has burnt out. It's not working anymore. It's just going to be replaced along with the air conditioning being topped up. I'm going to make some breakfast for everyone. We're going to make some pancake and some scrambled egg. Good chimes. So this is the chimes I like to put put on scrambled egg.
these are the um, tablia cacao from our cacao. These are meat. I'm gonna mix some hot chocolate this morning. Put hot water and then you just put in the pan. Put in the cooker. Sequate. 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 Okay, so sequate. And then we just boil it slowly until it melts. This pancake has a mixture of oat. So you use almond milk quite often, don't we? We're going to make our own almond milk. Yeah. A lot of people, including Jane, Isabella, and even myself sometimes, we're lactose intolerant. Yeah. Gives you wind, doesn't it? Makes you bloat. <laughs> As uh, yeah. milk isn't really meant for humans to consume. Not really. Our yeah. bodies aren't designed that way. We don't have the enzymes to produce it, the lactose to break it down. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people do find themselves lactose intolerant at some point in their life. That's why almond milks and things like that are very popular. Very, very popular. But they're expensive here. They're all imported from Australia. I think it's better to make our own. So we're going to make a lot of homemade produce, especially almond milk, soy milks. Very easy to do. You can't really find them here unless they're imported from Australia. And we do find from experience in the shops that the supply is it's up and down. Prices fluctuate, but they're going up at the moment. They've been going up all year, since last year even. When we arrived in the Philippines, you could get almond milk for 150 pesos. Now it's about 180 pesos, quite a big increase. Whereas the wholesale price of almonds has remained the same. So this is the hot chocolate. Yeah, it is melting. And this is melting just, slowly. This is 100% pure cacao, nothing added, yeah, absolutely. nothing extra. You smell it. It smells nice. It smells nice. Good start to the day. Hot chocolate. In the province, it's quite a like a treat for breakfast, isn't it? Mango, yeah. sticky rice. So the gas canisters actually have come down in price. Three months ago, we bought one for 1,100. The other day, we ran out in the middle of the night, well, middle of the evening, cooking dinner as usual, and it was 900 peso for gas canister. I put it on the meter. There's actually more gas in it than last time as well. So gas, wholesale gas, I'm not sure if it's come down everywhere in the Philippines, but certainly where we are, it's come down in price. It always helps, doesn't it, when prices of things come down. Gas canister lasts about three months now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Three months, 900 peso, 300 peso a month. Really reasonable. Yeah. It's not a thin pancake, it's more of an American style pancake, this. Cooking and Make it at the same time. And then we do things together. Oh, it's nice in the morning. Maybe I'll buy our trees this time now. Okay? <laughs> We've learned our lesson. Next time, we'll make a boundary ladder. You pass me that, please. Every year we resolve to make a plan. Where are we going to visit? We're going to also go locally, see some local tourist attractions, some businesses, some places we've never gone to before. Drop us a comment if there's anywhere you want us to go and see. Obviously, we can't go everywhere, but Drop us a comment, give us some ideas. The flip? I'll try to flip it. Go on. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I thought it'd be on the ceiling, but. <laughs> <laughs> but just like stick on the ceiling and come back on your face. <laughs> and we do have coffee but as an alternative cacao very similar to coffee in some sense mm. you want some more hot chocolate? Mm. Yeah. she didn't finish the um, too excited bunch of too excited to get ready to go out, I think. Yeah. Imagine each one of these became a tree. <laughs> How nice it would be. It grew really quickly. 
Okay. The one there, look. Oh, yeah. That one there is just the pumpkin. Oh, it's these, yeah. Yeah, just the seeds. We just threw it and it just grew. And there's some more even over there. <laughs> it grew everywhere. Oh, I can see, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, That's a blue one. It's not blue one. That's not blue, no. I can't turn my neck. I think I'd slept a bit funny. <laughs> it's like it's in the fins. Oh, I see it. It's not a blue one. White. Why like a blue? blockhead or like yellow bit. Oh, That's yellow. Oh, okay. I love that little bird. <laughs> but in England, it? especially when they had the trees behind us, the bird song in the morning was incredible. Mm. They cut the trees down, the birds disappeared. And yeah. you really miss it because when you wake up and you hear the birds singing, it, it really puts you in a good mood. Even though even the roosters here, they don't get used to it, don't you? This? Oh. <laughs> is this too? <laughs> What's that one there? You're going to bury them or just leave them? No, just leave it. Honestly, just, they will just grow. They just find their way in. Yeah, and then we'll just have a punkan here. See? Like this bamboo, this bamboo right? We really need to get this somewhere, don't we? Mm. This is great for bag, for like a border on the wall. We're going to move that in the front. Yeah, by the wall. Yeah. Oh, good be. Here. Yeah, but it's not hanging straight, so we're going to need to get a bigger bracket. That's it. Just push gently and it, water will come out. <laughs> That's it. Just lets the air out. Just do it a little bit, gently. That's it, that's it. No more? A little bit. Until the water comes out, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Until the air noise stops. That should be okay. That's it. Sometimes you get an air bubble which affects the water pressure. Yeah. This definitely works to help little particles come out. The taps upstairs, the showers, they're all really clean with this. Very cheap, very inexpensive to do you can do it yourself you don't need a lot of experience about the bracket the bracket's not quite wide enough as the one we had before was smaller we changed it to a better performing unit but we need to change the bracket 7-eleven 50 percent off we're buying the old store fourth to the seventh 50 percent off so we're going to go 7-eleven 7-eleven over 300 items 50 percent off them July 7th to July 11th, of course. When is going to be 7 11, not 4 to 11 in the morning? But I saw it somewhere. So it's somewhere, maybe you're just blind. Oh, it's a matter. As you get older, your eyes get weaker. <laughs> oh, well, Adam's made a mistake as always. We're going to go inside, Isabella's hungry. Let's get her something. In you go. Okay, in you go. There we go. From Friday then. Okay, Friday till next week. Okay, well what do you want, Isabella? You go choose. We arrange at 7-Eleven here. Lots of sandwiches and rolls. Isabella's favourite place.